this is Bridget Val with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, I know it's been a little couple of days. Uh, there's been so much stuff going on and just being tired and taking a day off and then doing all these other things that need to get done, among other stuff, and just like needing to rest, being a girl, having my period. You know, I, I laid down earlier um, to do like a hypnosis and slept until like, almost midnight and then I only had like 20 minutes left before I need to um, print out a thing for the candles that need to be shipped off and I was like oh no um, and I almost just went to bed now without doing it but it's like just do it because if you go too long without doing it you just get into the rut of never doing it again so um, finding equanimity amidst change it comes from a Buddhist insight meditation tradition and is defined as the ability to stand in the middle of intensity and to develop patience with uncomfortable experiences and to see the big picture as to why to maintain balance. Equanimity is sometimes inaccurately thought as an attitude of distance and detachment. In actuality, you build equanimity by learning how to be in the discomfort of embarrassment, shame, or discouragement, frustration, anger, and grief. Ultimately, in order to change, you must step outside of your comfort zone and take a risk. Maybe this means going to the gym even though you feel out of shape and uncomfortable. Or perhaps this means journaling instead of eating when you're feeling sad. You might go to a long-avoided doctor's appointment despite your fears about health. Your challenge might be to show your vulnerable emotions to a loved one instead of hiding your true feelings. And in what ways do you need to step out of avoidance and face your fears? Going into the intensity of your big emotion requires a groundwork of support and safety. What gives you the courage to step into your emotions to feel yourself as chaotic, raw, fearful, or sad? And I think that you know, this this is just kind of funny, again, because it does go along with things going on in my life. And in practice, it says, this is aimed to build your capacity to maintain a steady mind when stepping outside of comfort zone. Sit comfortably and focus your awareness on your breath as it flows gently in and out. Place your hand over your heart, feeling the warmth of the touch of your hand. It Feeling the warmth of the touch of your hand on your heart, focus on a sense of safety and ease. Gently breathe care and kindness into your heart. Notice the feelings and sensations that arise. Begin to reflect upon any changes that you would like to embrace in your life. Return your attention to the sensation of your hand over your heart. Breathe in and out. As you say to yourself, I trust in my capacity to handle change. Once again, reflect on any changes that you would like to make. and Get specific in your mind about what these changes look like for you. Return your attention to the sensation of your hand upon your heart. And once again, notice your breath as it flows gently in and out. And again say, I trust in my capacity to handle change. Repeat this process for as long as it feels right, and then take a few minutes to write down anything that you are aware of now. Okay, so hopefully that serves you guys and helps you. Um, I'm going to go to bed now and come back tomorrow with developing positive self-habits, and we'll keep going from there. In the name, namaste. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Um, there's been a lot of awesome feedback on the Be Creative the You parentheses Bridget Rao channel, a lot of readings, um, and there's a sale on my Etsy and a coupon code, which any order over $20, you can get $5 off with save 27. I only set it up for a couple of days, so if you see this after a couple of days, it probably won't be there anymore. Um, but yeah, I picked up the shift tomorrow. I gotta go to the UPS or USPS in the morning to send off some stuff. And it's like 2 a.m. So I'm gonna go to bed. In my name. Namaste.